friends, welcome to your weekly energy reading. I'm Wendy Irene from givelovecreatehappiness.com and I'm so glad you're here with me this week. So for this week's reading, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to use the Angel Answers cards. And these cards are by Dorian Virtue and Radley Valentine. So they are specifically for asking questions, answering questions. Um, your questions, but because this is a group reading, it's going to work a little differently. So there's two options really that you can choose to do for this reading. And the first option is you can think of a question in your head ahead of time. Like right now, start thinking of a topic or a question that you would like an answer to. Um, but the other way to do it, and maybe the way that I would recommend since it is a group, group reading, is to possibly let the card come up and the answer come up first and then your intuition tell you the question that you are thinking about. So the card will come up and then hopefully immediately after that, you will have a, a question that you feel like pertains to that answer. Maybe something you've been wondering about, but you're leaving yourself open to your intuition telling you what question the answer goes with. So, um, for example, say you get the card um, change in direction. Well, then let your intuition tell you what it's talking about when it says change in direction. What topic in your life do you need to change direction in? Um, so yeah, so let's draw a card and then let your intuition tell you what it's talking about, okay? Um, but if you already have a specific question and you feel intuitively right now that you should ask the question first before getting the answer. You can always do that as well. So it's about listening to yourself. It's always about listening to your own intuition because your intuition will help guide you with this reading because we are connected here now energetically. So um, personally for me, I think that hearing the, seeing the card and letting my intuition tell me what it's about is what will work for me. So, but you do it however you're feeling guided in the moment and trust that. It's all about trusting your own intuition in life. And it's really easy to not listen to your intuition and get um, numb yourself because you don't wanna make changes or um, you know, find ways to escape your intuition instead of doing what your greatest good is. And that is your inner guidance. So if you listen to your inner guidance, I feel like you will always be in alignment with your soul. Okay, so let's get this reading started. I'm going to, so these cards come up by law of attraction energetically. Um, you know, energy is really the thing that's really real in life. I feel like energy is more real than anything else that you see in reality. So I'm very trusting of energy and listening to my inner guidance about energy. And I'm hoping by being connected with me here in these videos that is starting to open up your sixth chakra or your third eye or your intuition by being energetically connected in this space. So first I'm going to infuse the cards with light, which means I see the light coming from up above from the source and spiraling into the cards. And I'm also praying, um, praying, asking for just the right card to come up. I also ask my soul to help out. Um, I think it's best to go with your own soul or source or universe or God or whatever word you like to use because um, for sure you definitely want to say that you only want guidance from um, anything that is pure love and light. You do not want to be getting guidance from anything other than pure love and light. So your own soul or source or, you know, if you do like to um, interact with other beings, you can ask for service to other benevolent, um, only beings of love and light. But I still recommend your soul or source only. Okay, let's see. So now let's see what card wants to come up. So these cards are taking their time today, but we do not want to rush that. When the right card is ready, it will come up. Okay, we have a card. 
and the card is compromise. So whatever situation is coming to mind, let's take a moment. Take a moment and think about compromise. What is coming to your head? What's the first thing coming to your head? This is an area where maybe you could use some compromise in your life, whether it's in a relationship, maybe there's compromise where you can find a solution that is great, the greatest good for both of you combined, um, where, you know, I think it's really important, especially when you're talking about compromise, to stay open-minded. I love to hear perspectives that are opposite of my own. I think it's... Um, really enriching and help because you know it's easy to get stuck into a narrow point of view even when you believe yourself to be an open person and believe yourself to be of love and light you are but it's still always good to hear the other side of everything and then you still stick with your own intuition you know your own guidance listen to your own guidance but there are times when we can compromise where it doesn't have to be black or white <laughs> maybe there's some other shade of beautiful color that is, you know, a really good solution for everyone involved. So I hope that you're getting some kind of guidance as to where you need to compromise in life. And um, compromise can be a really loving energy, depending on what it is we're talking about. Um, so, and it can really help your relationships. We're not all, we don't all function exactly the same way. Um, we have different needs sometimes. I mean, we have the basic same needs, but we express things differently sometimes and compromise can be a really beautiful thing. Thank you so much for joining me. If you liked this reading, please do pass it on to your family and friends and come over to givelovecreatehappiness.com where you can sign up for email updates to get these videos to your email. And you can also find me on social media where I love to share inspiring, uplifting, things, sometimes recipes, sometimes just um, quotes, all different kinds of things that inspire me, or maybe possibly sometimes I share um, information that I think needs to get out there that people need to know about. So thank you for being here. I really appreciate your time and I'm sending you so much love and light. See you again next time. Bye friends.